And the Canadians were taking it to a final frame decider, as I forewarned you. Now, Robidoux, who'd fought back from 3-1 down to 4-4, is at the table, eight points behind. Had to play it with a tremendous amount of side to try and just swerve it around the yellow. A choice of two reds here, one of which he has to use the rest for, and the other one, he can get at it, but... Uh, He's running into the reds. Won't be able to control the cue ball too nicely. Trust a little bit to luck. Well, what damage has he done here? Well, that last shot of Bob Chaplin's may well have cost him the frame and match. This is an excellent opportunity for Alan Robidoux. Well, Alan Robidoux really hasn't performed at all anything like he can play in this match, and uh, here he is with the wonderful chance of uh, winning and going through to the draw for the next round. Bob Chaperon played uh, 
very well the first two or three frames. And I suppose the turning point of the match was when... 39. Chaperon lost the fourth frame, leading 3 nothing, and uh, Robidoux fluked the brown and blue. So that definitely was the turning point. So Robert do 31 points in front. Forty. So it just needs one more rest. Shouldn't be too difficult. Forty-eight. Forty-seven points in front now. Just thirty-five points on the table. Fifty-five. Alain Robidoux, 55. And needs three successful snookers, a red and a black and all the colours to tie. I think he's got him snookered here, and this looks rather awkward. Pink is in the way to come off the side cushion. And uh, could easily leave a free ball. Must be lying on the blue there, otherwise he would have played the shot by now. Can't come off the side cushion. And uh, may have to come off the top cushion. Could leave a free ball here. Foul. Bob Chaperon, four. Well, he was lucky he hit the yellow there because it would have been a free ball. shot that was. Well, Bob, Bob Chaperon not giving up easily. Foul. So that's one Bob stoker. Chaperon, four and a free ball. And he's left a free ball. So he can take the yellow into the middle pocket and Get on to the black. That's the equivalent of two more snookers, the eight points. So he could then tie with the red and the black and all the colours. In fact, uh, he can uh, win by taking the black and uh, the 
final red and all the colors. Gone too far. Snooker himself. Eight. Robert will be sighing a sigh of relief, I would think. It's, uh, I'm sure he can see the match within his grasp and then uh, losing it. Thirty one one points the difference. Fantastic fluke. And 30 points of difference. The brown is big enough. Yeah. Oh, he may well hold his head. 26 points in front, but there's 27 points available on the table. And Bob Shepherd is the man that's there. 30. So what a nail-biting finish to this match. It all looked over a couple of minutes ago. 15. <clears throat> and it really just goes to show, uh, John, how careful you need to be at this game. When uh, Robidoux was on the final red, had he have just rolled it over the pocket, there's no way that he could have lost. As it was, he thought he'd got the ma match uh, in the bag, had a full-blooded attempt at it, and now we have every chance of losing. He'll be kicking himself. But still got 22. some work to do here. He's still got to get that position on that pink to get back to the black. So we've got to play a good shot on the pink. 33. Well, he's not perfectly on it, but it's a very good chance. It's one that he should get. So what a tremendous finish to the match. Bob Shepherd runs out the winner by five frames to four. Alan Robidoux, poor chap, desperately upset. He'd done all the hard work and then had it snatched away at the death. John, I guess there's a moral there somewhere. Well, Tony, we all have hopeless moments in life, but there, where Bob Chaperon faced his, he certainly didn't despair. Oh, I, I, I had given up hope. Actually, I, I, says, uh, I, I sort of felt like... I couldn't win the match when I was like 3 nil in front or 4 nil, for, you know, 3 1 in front. How am I going to win needing like four snookers or three snookers? Did you think of conceding? I, oh, I, I almost never got up uh, out of my chair. A resilient Bob Chaperon, but agony for poor Alan, Alan Robidoux, a moment I'm sure that will live with him forever. Now, there wasn't such pulsating drama this afternoon when Manchester based Robert Marshall whitewashed Eugene.